So right now I am shopping at Whole Foods. This is where I do all of my grocery shopping. I have some things in my basket already. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Arthur. Ooh. Hi guys, welcome back to that thing that I call my channel. My name is Arthur and today I'm going to do something a little different. Today I went to Whole Foods and I spent like a bajillion dollars on like my food items that I normally get. So I thought why not do a haul about all the things that I normally get from Whole Foods. Um, especially because I have a vegetarian diet and I also cannot eat too much milk. And sorry if I'm coming on a little extra, a little more alive, a little more vibrant. It's because I just finished myself a nice little Starbucks, so... <sighs> the caffeine's kicking in. Without further ado, let's get started on what I bought at Whole Foods. Let me get the bag. Now, on my way walking to my house, the bag ripped, and thank God it didn't rip all the way because I have some glass items in here. And, oh, why is it wet? Oh, no. It's wet. It's wet and there's a hole in it, so let's start off by getting some of the stuff out. Now this actually isn't all the stuff that I bought. I actually kept some stuff at my mom's house because I go over every morning to make breakfast so I can have breakfast with my dog because I love him. He's my best friend. Only friend. Anyways, let's get started. So since I don't eat meat, of course that's what vegetarian means. Uh-huh. I normally get a lot of carbs, a lot of fresh fruit, and a lot of vegetables and Basically, carbs, vegetables, and fruit. The stereotypes are true. That's all we eat. Anyways, to start off with my produce, I just got, you know... Oh, by the way, for those of you guys who don't know what Whole Foods is, Whole Foods is a supermarket that sells, for the most part, I would say like maybe 80% of all of the things that they sell is either non-GMO or organic. And if I am not mistaken, all of the animal product that they do sell is either cage free or they roam free for the animals whether it be dead or alive so that's the reason why I choose to eat at Whole Foods because me being vegetarian even though I am not directly eating the meat the animals are still getting killed so it's just nice to know the place that I shop whether I'm not buying whether I'm buying the meat or not still make sure that the animals are treated humanely so anyways that's what Whole Foods is and yeah, so I got, you know, some organic carrots, some mangoes, which I had two of them. I ate one earlier at my mom's house, and unfortunately it wasn't ripe and it just tasted really sour. Anywho, these are the produce that I got. I got some mangoes, some peaches, some nectarines, and some carrots that I eat with my hummus. But I, like I said before, I left the hummus at my mom's house because that's normally where I like to make my snacks in my mom's house. And I also left some eggs, which are like, you know, in the shell, um, which are free range. So that means that the chickens can roam as they please. You know, home, home on the range where the chickens lay my eggs. Anyways, yeah. And then I also eat egg whites. So I normally will mix, you know, three tablespoons of egg whites as well as one whole egg, mix that up together. And the egg whites are cage-free, not roam-free. But, you know, you gotta make sacrifices some places. Anyway, since I live by my since I live without my mom and she's not there to cook everything for me, I have to make everything on my own. So, you know, I get really lazy. So I just get these already made. Oh, mills, but you just add hot water and let it sit for like five minutes and yeah, they're good. I have different flavors. These ones I normally don't get, but they are on sale and I'm broke, so I had to get them. Next, we have my personal favorite. These are protein bars, especially since I don't eat meat and, you know, of course there's lots of ways that I can get protein, but I am lazy, so I just get them with these protein bars. Each bar has 17 grams of protein. And they are vegan, so that means there's no dairy in them, so hurrah to the cows. 
And so, this is what I get. And all this food that I'm getting, it cost me $51, and for the most part, only it will last me for like maybe four or five days, and then I have to go buy more, and so that's where all my money goes. You know, people my age, you know, at the age of 23, you know, people my age normally spend all their money on alcohol, which I am also accountable for, but I spend all my food on literally Whole Foods produce and Whole Foods foods, so that's why I don't go out very often. I got these veggie patties. They are made with black beans. I haven't tried them before, but I saw them. They were on sale, so I said, why not? Why not try them? I got myself some almond milk because yesterday at work I had some chocolate milk and it really upset my stomach. And so I was like, you know what? Let me get some almond chocolate milk because who doesn't love chocolate milk? This one's on sweetened. I've never tried it before, but I mean, why not try it now? I also got some Boom Chicka Pop Popcorn. I already opened it. <clears throat> Delicious. Delightful. Marvelous. Oh, I found another protein bar. So I guess I got four of them, not three. And the last thing on my list, which I cannot live without, is my sparkling water, which I believe this is a 1.5 liters. Let's see. Oh, it's only one liter. Can't live without my sparkling water. Normally, I buy my sparkling water at Target, which is like a department store slash grocery store, but they switch to only plastic bottles of this brand, which I don't like using plastic, so now I have to buy all my now I have to buy all my sparkling water at Whole Foods, which is like two dollars more. But for some reason, I just don't like using plastic. And that's all. There you go. That was my short little Whole Foods haul. I guess. I mean, I don't know. I always found it very fascinating before I started shopping at Whole Foods. The people that did or that do shop at Whole Foods. I just always found it very fascinating because the store looks very sophisticated and now I shop there and now I'm just like mm. the things people have to do just to eat healthy. And so yeah, there you have it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you didn't, fuck off. If you did, I'll see you guys next week for another Brand smacking video. Ooh, it's hot up in her.